It is Sunday. The Tulambi have been Dutier's neighbors for three days now. Jean-Pierre offers them food twice a day. He knows that this is the only way he can keep the tribe near his camp. The food means the tribesmen don't have to hunt and gather for themselves, but the expedition supplies are running low. It is time for the Tulambi and the explorers to go back to their respective worlds. It is clear that the Tulambi are no longer frightened by Dutier. They are clearly no longer wary of the expedition, just bewildered and perhaps a little in awe. But they no longer seem to believe the white men are living dead. And Gio seems most eager to continue to communicate with Jean-Pierre, okay. to show them how they live. Uh -uh. Can I see the bag? What is it? Can you open? With Huawei, an ally helping to interpret, Dutiu puts this together. It is Angio's story. We are separate people. We have no contact with the outside world. The first outsider we met was Huawei from the Uya Uya tribe. We came here for medicine that Huawei told us about. We believe in the shaman, but it doesn't always work. We almost died, all of us. We are not strong enough to walk across the big mountains. I'm a human being. I was alone in my mother's belly, not with others like the pigs. My grandfather told me white men did not exist. Now I know they do. I met them. I will return to my forest and die over there. It is the end of my story. Jean-Pierre will later give the tape to linguists. They will hear a language and songs never before heard by modern man. Huawei's original promise to the Tulambi tribe is kept. Dutia administers a concoction of aspirin, vitamin C, and quinine. It can do wonders, but it tastes awful. Okay. Okay. Assisting these people was the purpose of this expedition in the first place. Allah tries to explain how and when to take the pills to prevent malaria, the main killer in these highlands. We leave enough quinine and vitamins to last the Tulambi for six months. Hopefully, the Papuan government will continue to supply them after our departure. Seka umbanga ti uya uyi. Okay? Nie kunia, kumia. Ma wa ya ma ni ga ma ni ga ma ni. 
Dutilleux and his team spent three days with the Tulambi. They must return to their people, and it's time for the members of the expedition to do the same. After the Tulambi had dressed for their journey, they began to sing a farewell song. They lost their drums to their enemies, so they symbolically used their pipes. In his journal, Jean-Pierre Dutilleux writes, You know, it all happened this way, but I still cannot believe what we saw. I must continue my research and I will return to find out whether I was dreaming or not. Later, the bridge across the ages was swept away. <laughs> 